It's once again that time of year, the fashion girly Super Bowl, if you will, taking place on the first Monday in May, the Met Gala. And it always brings interesting conversations as all eyes are on the star studded red carpet, except this year it was kind of giving Colgate toothpaste. But there's usually some drama that comes along with each one of these events, and this year was not the exception of that. We had cats, exes hanging out, people hating the theme, awkward interviews, and so much more, including a cockroach that had its shining star moment on the red carpet. Yeah. For a little while there, drama had already started when there were rumors that the Kardashians may not have even been invited to the Met Gala. People were even saying that they were banned from the event. And people ran with this thought, thinking that it had something to do with Kim wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress last year, or the fact that the Kardashians are just not what they used to be. But that ended up not being true at all. Kim had posted prior to the Met Gala that she was going. She shared several photos of herself on Instagram getting inspiration for the theme this year, hanging out with Karl Lagerfeld's cat, and even posted an Instagram story Sunday night saying that North surprised her with a massage before the big day, confirming that she was going to be at the Met Gala. North massages before the big day beautiful kendall and kylie were also in attendance which people were surprised about once again because of the rumors but they were there and on the kardashian topic kim and pete were spotted having a little reunion at the big event it's good to know that they're still on friendly terms with each other even though they're exes but good for them in terms of outfits from the evening, there were so many looks, obviously. I know a lot of people didn't like Emma Chamberlain's look, but I thought she looked adorable. I mean, she was there interviewing people. She even did a quick change to a black version of this blue outfit. She was there interviewing for Vogue's YouTube channel for the third year in a row. And for anyone who wants to say, why is she there? She was there to get them views for their YouTube channel, and she does exactly that for them every single year, so they bring her back because she brings in the numbers. And the comments on these videos literally love her, because truthfully, she's friends with a lot of these celebrities now, and they can have these chill, easy conversations that are kind of fun to watch, and it's not like a journalist being like, tell me what you're wearing, what projects do you have come... Like, it doesn't feel like your standard interview. But on the topic of interviews, Derek Blasberg and Chloe Fineman are a big conversation right now, facing a lot of backlash for their red carpet coverage at the Met Gala. Derek is the head of fashion and beauty partnerships at YouTube, and he's also a journalist, which kind of makes this whole thing a little surprising. Chloe, on the other hand, is a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Derek has been to the Met Gala several times as he's been the one who invited YouTubers to the event in the past, but this, I believe, was the first year that he's ever interviewed, and boy, did it go wrong with Chloe. Knowing Chloe is from Saturday Night Live, after a few interviews, I sort of felt like maybe she was just being her SNL self, trying to be funny and a little awkward on purpose. And I wasn't sure if they asked her to do that and act that way, and her and Derek were doing a little bit together or what to keep things funny and lively throughout the Vogue live stream of the red carpet, but it did not come across that way to people that were watching. People kept commenting how uncomfortable a lot of their interviews were with other people, especially this one with Madeline Klein, Aubrey Plaza, and Stella McCartney. Chloe asked Aubrey for her last name, and Stella asks her to take the interview more seriously. And I don't know if it was a joke that they were all in on, but it was definitely uncomfortable. Especially if you didn't really know Chloe was from SNL and you didn't know that her and Aubrey do actually know each other. Wow, look at these three lovely ladies. We have Stella McCarty, Madeline Klein, and Audrey Sutburn. Sutburn. Wow. Wow. Oh. Wow. Well, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, this is Stella McCartney. <laughs> wow. That's right. Sustainable Stella McCartney. Right, right. Now, Stella, you took over from Carl Lagerfeld. You're taking this seriously. I am. I think it's very serious. No, 
Well, I, I'll be more serious. We can jump I did. Oh my gosh, I do that. No, no, okay. It's, this is, okay. Well, no, because my name is Chloe, and you took over from Carl Lagerfeld at Chloe in 1997. Aubrey Plaza recently hosted SNL a few months ago, and her and Chloe literally did a skit together, so I know that they know each other, and I'm pretty sure that this was just a bit, but I don't know if, like, Stella McCartney was in on the bit or not, because it was just giving uncomfortable, wasn't coming across the way that I think they wanted it to, and people were definitely coming for her and Derek on Twitter for this, saying they were such awful interviewers. Every time they were on screen, I cringed. Bro, Derek Blasberg and Chloe Feynman are the worst hosts. This is actually embarrassing LMAO. I don't know who let Chloe Feynman host the Met Gala, but she's being so disrespectful and not serious whatsoever. It's not okay to laugh about forgetting someone's name right in front of them during a live interview and many other things. Chloe Feynman and Derek Blasberg are giving me the worst secondhand embarrassment of my life. Chloe Feynman keeps calling Aubrey Plaza Audrey. Oh my God, Vogue, you flopped the hosts tonight. Chloe also said at one point that she was drunk. So I'm hoping that the whole thing was just a joke because I feel like of all the red carpets to be silly, Hopefully they were like asked to be silly, you know, but this certainly just didn't feel like the time and place to be acting like this. I feel like this night is a lot more serious and this was giving mockery, but maybe they wanted to sabotage it because there is a lot of drama going around with the theme of this event because the theme of this Met Gala was Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty. In honor of Carl Lagerfeld, obviously his name is in the theme of the event. He was the creative director of Chanel since 1983 and he passed away in 2019. Carl was a German fashion designer and he had worked with a ton of big name fashion houses, but in the end, he primarily was known for his work with Chanel. And aside from his work there, he was also known for other things, which makes the theme of the men controversial and is the reason a lot of people were not happy when the theme was announced. And it's because it's been said that he is fat phobic, racist, against gay marriage, and so much more. He's been quoted having said things like nobody wants to see curvy models. He was also against the Me Too movement, judging women for coming out with their stories years later, being quoted talking about the movement saying he was fed up. He also made comments about Adele's weight and Heidi Klum. He said Heidi Klum was too heavy. And this is the exact reason why people were very disappointed when they heard the theme of this year. Now, I don't know if the theme being not everyone's favorite is the reason why there were so many cats on the carpet because they wanted to troll the event or something, or if it was because of Carl Lagerfeld being known for having a cat named Choupette, who he loved dearly and treated like a queen. I'm pretty sure it was because he loved his cat and that's why they dress like cats, but it also could have been like them trolling the event because they just didn't love him. But yes, three people did show up to the Met Gala dressed as a cat, and that is because Carl's cat Choupette is his pride and joy. Choupette is literally worth millions of dollars. She has modeling jobs, businesses, and Instagram. There's even talks that she inherited Carl's fortune when he passed. I'm serious, you guys, this cat is freaking rich. But because people know that she is such a big part of Carl's life, Doja Cat, Lil Nas X, and Jared Leto dressed up like cats and showed up to the red carpet. Jared Leto literally got a shoe pet costume custom made for him. It was giving trolling energy, but I honestly can't really tell if that was the goal or if they were just taking the theme very literally. I don't know you guys, but Lil Nas X was really playing into it. He was meowing in his interviews. <laughs> Lil Nas X also is just so funny. He took selfies with a lot of the celebrities that were at the event. And this was definitely like a, this is me if I was at the Met Gala type of moment. 
Meanwhile, Doja Cat, on the other hand, was trying really hard to keep her look a secret. And when she left her hotel and was getting into the car for the Met, she was actually covered up by umbrellas. And it really pissed off the people waiting outside to get a sneak peek because most celebrities do show off and pose for the cameras outside of the hotel before they get into the car and go to the Met Gala. It's like a big thing where people wait outside the hotels just to see the celebrities like first looks at their outfit. And she was like, nope, I'm not giving anyone a sneak peek. Gotta wait for the carpet. So they covered her up with umbrellas and they literally were booing her as she walked by. <laughs> In terms of my favorite looks of the night, there were definitely quite a few. Here are just some of them, you guys. I certainly want to know what you guys were loving this year, who you guys thought killed it, if you thought there were some flops. Let me know what you guys thought of the event, if you were paying attention to it last night. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.